Checking here down on Detroit, team number 2056, OP Robotics. You're here with Sarah, Eric, and Emily, and what a fantastic machine. Uh, of course, the winners in Ontario of the Technology Division also won two districts at McMaster and Waterloo, and can't wait to check out more about this machine. So we're going to start out here. Emily, uh, intake, absolutely beautiful. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so this is our intake. Um, it can pick up both cargo and hatches. How it does the hatches is the, we have these fingers here that pretty much, can you put this? That pretty much they go out, put, it's collect a hatch and clips on like that very easily and it makes sure it doesn't come out or anything. It's very stuck on until he does that and throws the hatch off of the intake. Um, we also have the cargo, so it intakes inwards to pick up a cargo like that um, and when we also have this thing called a beam rake where if it intakes like that whenever there's a cargo inside it's these two sensors here there's a light shining towards one and when this is broken it slowly intakes like that uh, yeah so that's the that's the intake Neat stuff to see, obviously very effective and impactful on the match field. So, uh, Eric, you mentioned something to me that I've only heard a couple times but never really seen explained to me, and that's called the auto drive. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about what's going on for that? Yes, so we call it an auto drive. I'm sure other teams have a, a different name for it. Um, but this year we've used uh, the Limelight. I'm sure most of you watching know what it is. Uh, it's the Limelight 2. Basically, it's this uh, box with a camera and bright LEDs. It shines at the retroreflective tape on the targets, and it, we get a feedback. Um, there's a couple settings that let us configure it, um, but basically what we get is we get a box around the two targets, uh, and once we get that box, we get uh, the two top corners of it. We get that distance, we compare it to a distance we measured IRL, and uh, then we have a calculation that we put in, we get an actual distance. Uh, so we use that real time along with uh, the limelight also has a heading offset and we have a Navex gyro sensor. Uh, all that combined we use PID uh, basically just autonomously drive to a target. It's really useful especially if Tom is, uh, Tom is our driver. If he's trying to score on the opposite side of the rocket you can't see or if he's in like a left driver station um, trying to score on the right side of a cargo ship. You just can't see and it really helps him score. Wrapping up here, uh, I want to talk uh, about the uh, elevator on this robot a little bit. So Sarah's going to give us some details on what's going on for that. So our climb this year allows us to climb to any of the levels, so from um, one to two or one to three, even two to three. And so we use something called, um, we use, it works in tandem with our gripper and what we call at the back here, a wheelie bar. And so when we go up to climb, our elevator goes up and our gripper becomes level with the platform. And then when we climb, um, the elevator goes down in tandem with the wheelie bar and that pushes us up to become level with the platform and then we just drive on. So, guys, I want to wrap up with one thing here that uh, I noticed just a little bit before we started, and you guys have an alternative to yelling robot uh, in the pits. So, Emily, what, what's going on down here, by the way? Let's take a look here. Tell us about the, uh, the bell innovation here. So, you see, we have a bell that we walk around the pits with. So I think it's a great way to end up here. Uh, obviously, 2056, lots of cool stuff coming from them. Uh, and personally, uh, my new favorite uh, uh, thing going on with them, of course, is the fantastic bell. So can't wait to see more of this team. Uh, good luck here at the Detroit Championship, everybody. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.